Good morning, you guys. You wanna know the number one way to succeed on a plant-based diet, any healthy diet, really, or any healthy habit? Make the healthy choice the easy choice. So I'm talking about things like meal prep. Prep simple things like a bowl of quinoa, some beans, some berries, rinse some grapes, and put them in a giant tupper. So all you have to do is go and grab them. If the chips are more accessible, you're most likely gonna fall for the unhealthy snack because it's quicker, it's easier, it's simpler. We're all super busy, right? So we have to make the healthy choice the easy choice. This also means exercise. We have slowly built a home gym in our garage. Aaron and I have continually, over these last 10 years, of transforming our health made the healthy choice the easy choice so you guys have been doing a brand new and super basic green smoothie in the mornings we use about five or six bananas just a little bit of soy milk a scoop of unflavored protein powder with some vanilla flavoring and a dash of maple syrup with a tablespoon of our favorite greens powder this is so creamy and so good. The kids really have no idea that they're getting such a bomb, nutritious snack. First thing in the morning, it fuels us up and gets us ready for our morning workouts. We are about to go for a family run. The kids like to go out on the front step in the sun and slurp it through a straw. This is so, so good. Okay, let me get this bad boy on. We seriously, buy at least 40 pounds of bananas at a time. This, again, makes the healthy choice the easy choice. The number one thing I'm reaching for in the morning is bananas for our simple smoothies in the morning. This offers us that glycogen, that energy that we need first thing in the morning, and we're not turning to things like caffeine for energy. We've never drank coffee, we've never been caffeine drinkers, and we don't plan to because we are starting our day with healthy fresh fruit. Aaron likes to call these weapons of mass nutrition. Apples, oranges, bananas, the fruits that we've always seen everywhere, even gas stations, right? They're pre-packaged, they're easy to take on the go. These are so good for you. A path full of everything you need. Water, fiber, the healthy carbs for energy, and yes, even some protein. Give us a wave, Max. After our run, I was craving some chocolate cherry oats. I added a scoop of chocolate protein powder, frozen cherries, some berries. Super good. It gives me what I need after a workout. My morning green, well, it doesn't look green, but it has greens in it, greens and blueberries. So if you guys watched our interview with Dr. Greger from last week, you know that he said smoothies are amazing. He also said blend up greens and berries, especially in the morning. So I did both. Now it's not always super tasty, so I do like to add a scoop of vanilla protein powder and passion fruit. Passion fruit is tart, sweet. It takes all that nasty green flavor away. This is so, so good. Tons of protein, like at least 500 calories. So yeah, when it comes to like having success and eating well, especially as a family, we are so busy, you guys, from chasing the kiddos, cleaning up, trying to write our book and work and just be normal people. Highly recommend meal prepping whatever you can, whatever you can rinse and prep and then just be able to scoop out of the fridge seriously it makes it so so easy and when it comes to meal prep these things you guys waffles pancakes these are seriously dense okay they're packed full of protein and iron these are so much easier in the oven you don't have to deal with oil in a pan so i did our waffle recipe you guys can find that in our meal planner or on my instagram page pour these onto some parchment paper put them in the oven at like 350 for about 15 minutes and they're so amazing. I've been sprinkling blueberries. I even did chocolate chips the other day and the kids love them. And this is like day two or day three of having these around. So making the healthy choice the easy choice, 
literally crosses over into almost every category of life. I'm talking about physical fitness, I'm talking about routines and habits. Lately, I've been getting extra creative with fitness, so I actually bought one of the neighbor's kayaks. So I've been kayaking in the ocean, which has been so much fun and so amazing. Max and I even went out together at the beach the other day. I'm recognizing that doing things that are fun, like kayaking, make it really easy because I don't even consider it a workout, even though it really, really is. We get a lot of questions too about supplements. You guys know that we love a compliment. The reason I love it is, yes, again, because it makes the healthy choice the easy choice. So I love compliment because they put everything in one place. No more buying my multivitamins or my droppers of B12 and D3 and all the things separately. Now it's all in one place with Complement, and I seriously love that. The thing I really like about Complement is that even in line with the name, it's not there to replace things you may be lacking, but rather to complement an already well-rounded and robust plant-based diet like we are always eating. We've been using their products for years, everything from the essential to their gut nurture products, their green powders in our smoothies. I also love that their packaging is compostable. These guys are just doing everything right. We know these guys personally. I know that I can trust them, and so I know what I'm using for myself and my family is top quality. I seriously recommend you guys check them out. As always, you can use our code to save. I'll link everything in the description below. So, I gotta be honest, even when it comes to shooting these videos, I've made things easy, purchased a wireless mic that I'm wearing. I've got the camera on a tripod. These things make my life easy and therefore make me more successful. So what can you do in your life to streamline your success? Whether we're talking about diet, maybe we're talking about work, business, parenting. Seriously, you guys, it's all about making the healthy choice, the right choice, the easy choice. Show us your muscles. Jeez, holy moly, you're so strong. <sighs> Hi you guys, so I just got done freshening up after our morning family workout and our hearty breakfast. Walk. And a walk? Yeah. yeah. Did we have fun? Yeah. Yeah. I like those beans. Yeah, they're soaking for dinner. We've got beans soaking for dinner. Mommy, yummy beans. Yeah. Yummy, yeah, yummy beans. So, since day one, Dusty and I had heard this really good piece of advice before we became parents. Society leads you to believe that children kind of stop you up and put a halt to all of your hopes and dreams and adventures and you're just bound to home. That has not been the case for us. Someone told us just bring them with you, integrate them into your lives. They are an extension of you, they're not a burden. So we have literally taken the kids everywhere with us. Honestly, we couldn't imagine doing half of the things we do and seeing half of the things we've seen without our kids by our sides. So the things that have really helped us to instill healthy habits into our children and to continue to lead healthy lives as parents of young children is first and foremost to just Delay ultra processed foods as long as possible when it comes to introducing kids to new food. It's really been beneficial because even when they're away from us, I know that they're still asking grandma and grandpa for sliced strawberries or for watermelon or for a smoothie. They're not asking for sugary candies and baked goods or bags of chips. They're simply asking for what they're accustomed to and that's because we have started them on the right foot. And same goes for exercise. I think another great nugget of wisdom that we heard early on was that your children are going to respond not to what you say, but what you do. So we say this a lot on our channel. We lead by example. We go out into the garage and the kids want to be right there with us. We have our little rebounder out there that they love to jump on. Max will come up behind me with his little set of dumbbells and they'll be mimicking the moves that I'm doing. Today on our family run ride, I said something about, isn't it so fun to be active? And he goes, Mom, what's active? So I was explaining to him that what we're doing right now is active when we're moving our bodies. And I was like, can you feel your heart beating? Is it beating a little faster than normal? Is your breath a little shorter than normal? 
And he's like, yeah. And I said, that's good for your heart. Later in the ride, he was riding against the wind and he's like, mom, I don't wanna ride against the wind anymore. I'm like, honey, there's nothing we can do about it. This is the direction we have to go to get home. And you know what? It's called resistance, kind of like lifting heavy weights. When you're riding against the wind and it gets tougher, that's actually making you stronger. Also, Dusty and I have always really valued open communication, especially lately, we've been really trying to sit down and do family conversations. And we usually open the conversation by talking about our strengths and our weaknesses. The best way to start is to be the example. So I say, I'll go first. Then we go around the circle. And a couple of other things when it comes to mindfulness, we really, really try not to give our kids too much screen time. Tons of library books. We go on a weekly basis to family story time, and then we pick up a whole stack, I mean a massive stack of books every week. And then there's things like the Love Every Play Kits, which are toys that are Montessori inspired. They're all so beautiful and well made. They're all educational. This one came in Max's recent play kit, which I absolutely adore. So this right here is great for mindfulness. You can just do a simple inhale with your finger going one way and then exhale going the other way. I have a thing where if you put your finger next to the orange one, you inhale. And then when you exhale, you roar like a lion and each color corresponds to a different animal and animal noise. So just different things to kind of help your child to navigate frustrations in a better way, to learn how to use their breath to soothe themselves. And another thing that I really admire Dusty for is he's really great about his stretching and just like winding down every single evening before bed. And a lot of times Max wants to go and into the spare bedroom and do that with him. And I think part of it's that he wants to stay up a little bit later, but it's totally fine because he's learning these healthy habits and practices by seeing them modeled from Dusty. Hopefully this inspires you guys to just eat, move, rest your best. If you're thinking about becoming new parents and you're fearful, fear not. It has been the most wonderful blessing in our lives. And on that note, Liv wants to go outside. So I think I'll wrap it up here. Place a bit.